Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about a few empties. The One of the empties being the hair stuff I'm using to keep it thicker. And then just some other products, not a ton of them. I want to talk about an article I read on expiration dates. And then just some chit chat. I'm filming this on Sunday, October 23rd. And on Tuesday, Jim has his right hip removal. So I wanted to get this film because I figured when I got home, I wasn't gonna have any time to. And as of today, this is our 32nd day of beautiful weather. I have never known it to be as beautiful for as long. I, I, I appreciate it. I write every day. I, I write what I, you know, I, I write in a ledger or a calendar or a diary, whatever you want to call it, every day. And when it's beautiful weather, I put a star and I've counted 32 stars. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is the Revitalash Cosmetics Volume Enhancing Foam. I have purchased two bottles of this and I want to let you know how many actual foam pumps that there is in one. I started using this one on January 30th and I used two pumps every day until March 15th and I just concentrated on two areas and on March 15th I just started using it in my part. I've always been able to see new growth and when I went just a few weeks ago to get my roots touched up and a lot of hair cut off, my hairstylist could see a ton of new growth and it's much thicker. But I want to talk about the cost of this. I think the normal price is $144. I used a 25% off discount code and it was $112. So I wrote this down because to believe me, my, my memory is usually good, but it's just kind of like gone this week. I emptied this one on October the 2nd. So that's a grand total of 288 pumps. I paid $112 for my foam. When I ran out, I, I started only doing it five days a week. That was on October 2nd. I skip every Tuesday and Thursday. I expect it will, will not change omitting two days because I have it to, you know, the thickness I'm happy with. This will last over a year and then I'll still have 28 pumps left. I will repurchase it. A friend of mine gave me hers because she had so many areas that were sparse. She said she couldn't afford using it even though she had it. She said, I don't want to, start, I don't want to use it because I won't be able to continue. So I would only recommend this if you have an area or two that you're needing to get new growth in. This is 39 cents a pump, but I don't know if you remember when I was using up my last one, I said it was totally empty down here. But I tried every day and I got another pump of foam. It's foam and I really like the consistency. Well, this is filled with uh, serum also. So that's why it kept going. I don't have a discount code. I'll try to get one or find one somewhere for you. But if you're interested. So a lot of times when you click on their online page, there will they will offer a discount. And this is the only product I've used from Revitalash and I've been real pleased. Okay, I bought the Grande Hair and I used it in one area over here that is didn't need as much help. I started using it on January 1st, 2022 and it was empty on August 28th. So for me, there were 239 applications. I liked it, it did help. What I didn't like, I'll show you what I didn't like. This type of a dropper and you couldn't just get one drop if you wanted. You, it, it, I would always end up getting one or two. And I just wanted one drop because I wanted to try it on a very small area. I was going to go ahead and repurchase this. But I heard Laura from Shake Up Makeup mention a product she was using. And so I went ahead and I ordered recommendations. But I do know what works for one person may not work for, for somebody else. Well, the first time I opened it, I dropped the dropper in the sink and I broke it. So I went to my stash of bottles and I took this dropper out. And these droppers, I have really good control of. These are the ones from Timeless that they used to have. And I just pushed the glass up a little bit in, into this area. And so now I can get the smallest amount and just get one drop. So, <laughs> where I'm using this, because I mean, this is less expensive than either one of these products that I've mentioned. So I'm trying right here. I really don't want it. I mean, I'm just putting a drop right in this area. 
I don't really want it to grow. Like I have this right here and I'm used to it. I've had it all my life. One time I used a product and it grew and, and I didn't like it. So I always wear my hair over to this side so it won't matter if this one grows or not. But I just wanted to try and see if it worked. And I wanna talk about cost. I know I paid $125 for the Grande hair. There's 40 mils in, in that bottle so that equals $3.13 a milliliter. On the Vegamore, it is only 30 mils, only $2.13 a milliliter. And I paid $64. I didn't have a discount code and, and don't have a discount code for it. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. it. Usually I can see within two months myself. I use my 15 times magnification mirror and I can open my part and I can see if I have a little hairs growing. And in a future video, I ordered a less expensive 15 times magnification mirror than the one I'm, I didn't need one, but I wanted to try it for you. And I think I found a good one that I haven't got, I haven't put it through the test. But what I like about all three of these products, it does not make my hair the least bit greasy. I wash my hair on Thursday and today is Sunday. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow but I don't have to use any dry shampoos. I mean, you know, I wear something on my lips all day long. And today I'm wearing the Genese Quoi gloss from It Cosmetics. I've used this for years. I buy several when I can find them. And most of the time I can find them on sale. But this, it was the first lip product I ever used that you put on and it's supposed to make your lips the perfect shade of pink for you. So this is what it does for my lips. And I like it a lot. But I've used up two It Cosmetic lipsticks. This was probably one of my very favorites that they ever made, and it is the Blurring Lines. And I heard about it from you all years ago. I used up Love. Yeah, I went down <laughs> and it with my brush. And then I used it up Naturally Pretty. And I still have a little of that left. It still smells good. It's not overly perfumed or anything. And it still applies, but I just thought I'd say goodbye to it. And you know how I am when I find something I love, it makes me sad when it's gone. But my favorite lipsticks right now are the BK Beauty lipsticks. They feel great, last great, and they're comfortable. That's important to me. And I like the It Pillow Lips, so they'll probably discontinue that. And I love the Tarte Maracuja lip gloss. I mean, they're like a balm and a gloss and a lip color, but those are probably my three go-to brands. I put my derma roller in here to remind you that I, I don't know, I, I have used the Timeless and I will use it, but I do prefer this and it's because I like the shape of it. The one from Timeless is a good derma roller, but the Skin Diva is just better for me. And it probably is, it's just because I got used to holding it. So I'll get my skincare products from Timeless, a lot of them, but I'm, I'm not gonna get any more derma rollers. I took the caps off these because I make sure I keep a cap in case I lose a cap. This is something I use all the time and I have for several years. It's the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. And when my hairstylist did my hair, I sent her a text when I got home. This was the time before last. I said, oh my gosh. I said, what did you use on my hair? I said, it is so soft. She said, I just put on the Kenra Blow Dry Spray because that's where I really heard about it from her. And I said, well, obviously I don't use enough. One of these lasted me a year, but I'm gonna use a little bit more and I'll, I may, it may not last a year. And the other product that I use, and it's a Colorwell Dream Coat. I use this once a month. And if the only reason I only use it once a month is I can keep up when I did it. The first time in the month that I wash my hair, I use it and then you have to blow your hair dry and then you have to use a hot tool. And it will keep my hair smooth for as long as I really want it to be smooth. I'm not like obsessed with it. I mean, I'm, I do love this product, but if my hair is frizzy, it's okay. I just don't want to do it more than that. I can't imagine it being truly good for your hair. I don't know that, but once a month is good for me. And this usually lasts over a year, about a year and a half. And I already have my backups for both of those. And I use a trusty, timeless, hydrating eye cream I use this every single night, never am without it. And it lasts just a shade over six months and I order another one. And these are the things that I did not like and I will not repurchase. And it took me forever to use this. 
This is from Ulta. It's the Creamy Lather Body Wash in Coconut and Almond Milk. I didn't look forward to it. I made myself rotate and, uh, and, I, and I won't repurchase it. And some time ago, I ordered the bath gel in soft cotton and it will be used or it will be given to a friend, but it just doesn't feel like I want it to feel. Bath time is one of my special times. And the only other thing I would not repurchase, I talked about this in a earlier video, but I'm gonna pitch it, I think. And I can't think of any place else I'm gonna try it. But it is from, it looks like V Beauty. It's the eyelash growth serum. I used it for months. I lost my eyelashes. I don't think I will ever try anything again, except for the Grande Brow. I'm still thrilled with it on my eyebrows. I don't have to do anything but keep them in place. That's all I have to do, and and I'm happy with that. And then the, my eyelashes are the length I like them, and I don't have to use hardly any mascara. So I'm, I'm just gonna stick with them. And I only use both of those three days a week. Once I got my brows and my lashes the length that I wanted them, I just started doing it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I don't want real long brows. I don't want, I mean, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want real long lashes. I don't want real thick brows. I just want normal amounts. And I had several other, I throw away a lot of them, but those are just the ones that I thought I had any, any good information about them. Of course, I go through my It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mascara. Right now, I think they're three for 30 some dollars. And if they are, I'll put that link below if I have time to. I may not have time to put many links below, but we'll see. I've never paid $25 a tube for this. If this year's like every other year, there will be a time before Christmas that they'll have like six tubes for $60. I will probably go ahead and buy, I have one in backup. I'll probably go ahead and order three right now. And then if I see that they are gonna have like the ones that like six for $60, sometimes it's that good. I will order those two and I always give away a lot of the it superhero mascaras perfect for me i don't mean need many swipes they wash up wash off beautifully and it never flakes on me at all so it's my perfect mascara and today on my face i tried something that i hadn't tried in several years and the only reason i tried it again is because of tamra i think her channel is tamra's timeless beauty i will put it below and she loves the pixie color corrector well i had one and i probably used it last a few years ago. When I use a product, I get what I need, I shut the lid and I turn it upside down. I know when my products are bad and we're gonna be talking about this next. But what I did, I used Angie's Hot and Flashy brush, just put it in there and that's from BK Beauty. And I just touched right there and right there with just one little thing. And then I went right underneath here and to put my finger and that was it. And so that's what covered this. I don't have on any foundation. I do have on a little bit of blush. This is Milani. I don't even know if they have it anymore. It's, Ro it's Rose Romance. I put a little of my Mali Pore Defender and see that's how clear it is. It's just clear stuff. And I put that over my face so it didn't shine so much. And my mascara, then I use something to tame my brows and, and that's it. Okay, I wanna talk about expiration dates. I was reading an article and it was very, very interesting to me. On October 6th, the USDA put out a new article or put something on their webpage and it was on expiration dates in food. Well, expiration dates and me, there's always been a bone of contention and, and Jim kind of believes that you should throw things out whenever the date is on there. And okay, first of all, this is just my personal belief. I don't want to ha influence you to do anything except for do your own research. <laughs> and I don't usually read from a website, but I want you to, I want to read this to you. Most shelf stable foods are safe indefinitely. In fact, canned goods will last for years as long as the can itself is in good condition. No rust, dents, or swelling. Packaged foods, pasta, cookies, cereal, will be safe past the date, although they may eventually become stale or develop an off flavor. You'll know when you open the package if the food is lost quality. And then they also, I went ahead and kept diving more and more and more. And you can, if you have something in the freezer, it's not gonna go bad. It might not taste good. If it has freezer burn, you can cut it off, but it is still safe. 
But I just kind of wondering wonder about the timing of this. I just want to make sure that I have like dried beans, that I have some food, because I don't know if they're preparing us for anything. Don't know. That's up to, you know, I mean, but it was enough that it made me think, ding, you don't know. I know it's hard to get some of the items that I used to get all the time, but I learned in 4-H. I didn't ever do home economics. I was in 4-H when I was a kid, and then I was in Girl Scouts when I was a little older. But they taught us, you know, that if a can is bulging, if a can has rust around it that you didn't rust yourself by, you know, putting water on it, not wiping it away, and to always open it and smell it. I mean, I guarantee, well, I, I hate to say I guarantee, but anything that I've ever had that was not good, the first cut into the can, I knew immediately it was not good. You know, when in doubt, don't eat it. But I've watched kitchen clean outs and it breaks my heart when I'll see people getting up boxes of spaghetti and pasta and say, well, this expired this month I, and they throw it away and then the can, I mean, I'm thinking there is just so much waste, but that's just my old woman's opinion. And yes, I am 69, but I'm not an old woman. I'm an old nurse, <laughs> but I'm not an old woman. And I know better than any date if something is good or not as far as my makeup. I guarantee you, I know when it's not good. And it kind of really insults me when something says, I throw away after 12 months. You know, there's certain things you've got to throw away your nitroglycerin. It expires, it, you, you know what I mean? And like with antibiotics, it, they mix in a bottle, those expire. There's several things that expire. Mascara, see, I throw mine away every three months just because I don't ever want to get an eye infection. And I know that's a place that can harbor bacteria. But if it is an eyeshadow, if it is a powder, if it is a lipstick, I smell it and I put it on. And if it behaves the same, I use it. I'm pretty sure I only have three videos to film for the rest of the year. I have two videos in November. And then in December, I'm going to be doing my the collaboration that I always do, my like 10 favorites from uh, 2022 and I'm going to be doing that with Natalie the Beauty Diva and I don't think Carol from the old Carol show is going to get to do it this time but you know maybe she will so I am not going to be putting up like Christmas gift guides or anything like that what I'm going to do is I've got, I've got a playlist of three videos I did and I will put it at the end of my screen and I'll also link them below I checked and everything that I have mentioned is still there I have one video that is $10 and under. Everything in there is $10 or under. I have one that's $20 and under. And you know, in the $20 and under, there may be something that's $8, you know, but it's all under $20. And then I have one that's $30 and under. And most of these things I have purchased for gifts. Most of them are practical. But anyway, I thought I would do that and let you see if you were needing some ideas. I always like to get my guys, uh, my son and my son-in-law, like gadgets for the kitchen, because they both like to cook, and of course their wives get to use them too. But I loved reading your comments and using the word autumn in my last giveaway. I have always called this season autumn. It is just too pretty of a word. I mean, it's too pretty of a season to be called fall. So, And I will always capitalize it, whether it needs to be capitalized or not. And it's kind of like mom, mother, dad, father, I just can't type those without a capital letter because letter because that's my mother and that's my father. So I know the capitalization rules. You just I just can't do it. I'm going to announce the winners of my last giveaway, but the one that I announced, the one that I had before that I had three $100 winners, two of them claimed their gift on Sunday, one on Monday morning, and they all had their e-gift cards by Monday. And I love it when that happens. And it usually does. I have very, very loyal viewers and, and I appreciate you. And anybody that's new, I appreciate you too. I always just think everybody that's here has been with me since the beginning. I use randomcommentpicker.com. And the first name that came up was Lisa Moretto. Congratulations, Lisa. And the second name was Donna Thomason. Congratulations, Donna. Just make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me because there's a certain way I like to do it. I like for you to put something in anyway. I'll tell you how to do it because that way it's helping me from not getting scammed. So, and I like that.
it is all good. I have more blessings from God than I deserve, and, uh, and he keeps it all good. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I enjoy learning from you. I learn from you all so much, and thank you. I will see you in my next video, and you all take care. So, that there are. I could, I, so if I'm, it has, I think I will be able to have, but it only is $2.13 a millimeter. I mean, it just, it, it doesn't make my hair. But those are the three, one, three, I, mm. and then if they have the ones in backup, uh, ABH'd because not I'm not gonna be like a twice no